Hey, whoa, get back. Get back, get back. Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. And I'm having to redo the uh, beginning of this video yet again because of the seriousness of the content, what we're talking about. And, you know, I would rather, and I'm having to talk a lot. I don't like talking. I would rather shoot, and I would rather show you firearms. But, in fact, let's go ahead and look at this firearm. It's a Taurus 85, one of the last ones they made. And these grips came off eBay. Had to do some sanding on them. But I like this gun a lot. It's very good for pocket carry. I prefer the five-shot revolvers for pocket carry over the six-shot revolvers just because it's bulky in my pocket. Now, what we're going to talk about today has to do with aging and the fact that uh, the self-defense strategies for aging, not only are they harder to come up with, but they're very limited. So anyway, uh, let's talk about aging and self-defense. Now, before we even start, you know, we need to look at the hows, the whys, the wherefore, the how You know, because you're behind the eight ball when you're older as far as self-defense. You know, we don't have the speed, the strength, the mobility that we used to have. You may be walking with a cane. You may be walking with a walker. You may have some other disability. You know, your bones are more brittle. You know, as we age, our brain dehydrates, creating space between the brain and the cranium. A hard blow to the head could be fatal. You become more of a target with criminals. So how can we protect ourselves? Well, the first thing is uh, awareness. You know, be careful of where you go and what you're doing. That's number one. Number two, always have an escape. You know, where are the exits? Uh, how can I uh, get out of this situation? How can I go the other way and avoid the situation? You know, number three, deflection. Now, when you are disabled, when you are older, it's harder to deflect a situation. But there's always verbal skills. I always say, give a challenge. Hey. When you see somebody coming towards you that does not look right, uh, they may have other people with them who branch off and start trying to flank you. Maybe they got that little sick, uh, ingratiating look on their face. Hmm. You know, or maybe it's just a panhandler trying to hustle money. You know, put that hand out. Get back! You know. Practice those stern commands. That may be enough to deter a potential predator or somebody who's just wanting to panhandle. But what if, once again, disabled, older, elderly, and that uh, warning doesn't work and they continue into your space, that uh, 4 to 12 feet, very close quarters where they could do you harm. Now, know the laws in your state as far as self-defense. That's a very important thing when you work out your strategies for self-defense. But if they uh, continue in and uh, pose a aggressive action in some form or fashion, and you are older, disabled, the stakes are a lot higher than someone like myself, who's 63, but still fairly fit where I can run, you know, I can block, I can evade in some form or fashion. But if you're in a walker or you're depending on that cane for balance or you're in that wheelchair, you're not going to be able to do that. So what's your option? Once again, depending on the laws in your state, this would be the time to uh, draw that firearm and present that firearm. Not necessarily shoot, but present that firearm with the intent to shoot if that person continues to come in. Once you present that firearm, that could very easily stop the uh, intended attack. But if they continue in, then you need to fire. And uh, 
fire uh, from the hip. I recommend that if you're going to carry a firearm that you practice from the hip just for those situations where somebody's coming in at close quarters. Uh, you point. You point the gun. You don't aim the gun, and you fire. Now, the other thing that I recommend is that you uh, get used to using your non-dominant hand to be able to manipulate that cane or lean on that walker. So let's look and see how this situation would play out. All right, we're going to do this from four yards. All right, so somebody's coming. Something's not right about their appearance or what they're doing. Hey, get back. All right, issue that challenge. But what if if they continue on in? All right, draw that firearm. All right, get back. Now, suppose they don't. They're coming towards you. They get into your space. Okay, then back away. All right, this was at four yards or 12 feet. We got the liver, we got the spine, and then we got the bladder right there. And once again, when you uh, shoot hip point, what you're doing is you're pointing, you're pointing the gun as if you're pointing your finger. And when you point, you're not trying to aim per se, and then you're trying to point at center body mass. And obviously this is for close quarters. And this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness.